Welcome back everyone, Apologia, 8th grade, Physical Science, week 4, day 2, textbook pages 55 through 58, notebook page 53, experiment 2.2. Um, we have to cover a little bit in our textbook before we start the experiment. Really, it's talking about further classifying um, substances. So we have metals and nonmetals. Um, you're very familiar with some of the common metals like copper, tin, iron, aluminum, silver, gold. They're typically shiny. Metals are generally pretty shiny. Metals are pretty good conductors of heat and electricity, especially copper and silver. Most are solid at room temp uh, temperature with the exception of mercury. Most metals can be flattened into sheets. They're malleable and most metals can be formed into thin wires. They're ductile. All right, so let's cover a little bit about nonmetals. Most nonmetals are poor conductors of heat and electricity. Uh, they vary in appearance, although glass, some plastics, and polished wood can be shiny. For the most part, nonmetals are pretty dull in appearance. All right, so then another way to classify substances are their physical versus their chemical properties. Physical properties are used to observe and describe matter. A physical property is any characteristic of a substance that can be observed or measured without changing the composition or the identity of the substance. Um, some examples of that would be mass, volume, appearance, color, te texture, size, odor, conductivity, density, hardness, malleability, viscosity, melting point, boiling point, etc. All right, so specifically appearance and odor, that those are both physical properties. What does something look like and what does something smell like? Note, it is very important that you do not taste anything in, a, in an experiment. That is not a good way of telling what something is. You don't know what you're tasting. Conductivity is another physical property. Conductivity is the ability of a substance to allow heat to flow through it. Metals are good con uh, conductors. They have a high conductivity. Nonmetals, such as the wooden spoon that you cook with, they are not good conductors, so they have a low conductivity. If a substance is a good conductor of heat, it is generally a good conductor of electricity. Density, we started talking about that in the last lesson. It's a physical property unique to each substance. The density is the ratio of the mass of a substance to its volume. The density of a substance is constant. It never changes. The density of a substance does not depend on the amount of the substance. Things that are less dense will float on top of things that are more dense. And denser substances will sink in less dense substances. All right, now we are ready to start experiment 2.2, exploring different densities. The purpose is to explore the different densities of several solids and liquids. These are the questions that we need to figure out and answer. How do the densities of the solids compare to the densities of the liquid? We just talked about things that are less dense will rise to the top or float. Um, things that are more dense will typically sink. Will the solid objects sink? float or be suspended in each of the liquids? How do densities of the liquids compare with each other? All right, there are two experiments, part one and part two, so we need two hypotheses. Part one, density comparisons of solids in four liquids. Write your prediction of what will happen when you place a grape, a paper clip, a small cork, a penny, a marble, and a washer in each of the four different liquids. Will they sink, float, or be suspended? So you're gonna wanna write a um, hypothesis for part one. And generally, if you can, you should use your if-then statement. And remember, do not use first person. Part two, density comparisons of four liquids. 
Write your prediction of what will happen when you mix the four liquids together. Will they mix or will they separate into layers? If they separate, which order will they be in? All right, this is the long list of materials. I'm gonna walk around and point them out as we have them. All right, the first thing we need, paper towels, got them. Uh, four beakers, again, our science kit didn't come in, so we're using uh, four clear plastic solo cups, one large quart jar, a ball jar, four spoons, got them. A measuring cup to measure our liquids, perfect. Water, perfect. Vegetable oil, corn syrup, rubbing alcohol, red and blue, food coloring, four small corks, four pennies, four grapes, four small paper clips, four, small, uh, four marbles, four washers, and ice cubes. All right, I'm gonna go grab my helper and then we're gonna get started with our lab. All right, my helper is adding two thirds cup of water into the first cup. Then we're gonna add two thirds cup of Crisco to the second cup two-thirds cup of corn syrup to the third cup, and then two-thirds cup of isopropyl alcohol to All the right, fourth cup. So we cup. have our two-thirds cup of water, two-thirds cup of vegetable oil, two-thirds cup of corn syrup, and two-thirds cup of isopropyl alcohol. So we're gonna go back to our procedure, and uh, helper, please, Add the cork pieces to each beaker. Do they sink, float, or become suspended in each liquid? It's the water. Okay. It, float. it floats in the water. Floats in the oil. Floats in the oil. So it just sticks in the... <laughs> Sits on top of the uh, corn, syrup. corn syrup. And floats in the alcohol. And floats in the alcohol. All right, so why don't we go ahead and take those out with the spoon? Oh, this one's so weak. And put them over here. Perfect. All right, take it all out. And we're going to repeat the exact same thing with the pennies. Okay. So go ahead and grab the pennies. Four pennies. Four pennies. So water. what does it do in the water? Sink. Sinks in the water. Sinks in the oil. Sinks in the oil. Slowly sinks in the... Sinks slower, but sinks in the corn syrup and, and sinks. sinks in the isopropyl alcohol. All right. We're removing the pennies. I'll let you get that one out. Okay. These are gross as they're all slimy and oily and sticky now. Yep. All right, the next thing that we are going to dump into our four um, cups are gonna be oh. the grapes. The penny is disgusting. It's all like yeah, sugary we, yeah. and... Yeah, we might wanna... Either it's all good. Okay. It's okay. Oh, it's like... It's all right. Just, yep, perfect. All right, now go ahead and do the same thing now. Let me move the spoon. We're gonna do oh. the exact same thing. With the grapes? With the grapes, go ahead. Okay. Water. Sinks. Sinks in the water. Oil. Sinks. Sinks in the oil. Syrup. Oh, so stays suspended. On top. Ah, it stays on top. Oh, yes. Oil or alcohol, sorry. Sinks in the okay. alcohol and it is suspended. It is not floating on top. It is definitely suspended in the uh, corn syrup. It's gone down some. You can see that in there. All right, we're removing all the grapes. And I ate the one from the water. Too. My helper ate the one from the water. <laughs> Not from the corn syrup. Though. <laughs> He's definitely broken the rule that I just mentioned that you should never taste <laughs> yeah. any of your science experiments. Do, do not do what I just did. All right, so the next thing we're going to do are the paper clips. We have four paper clips. Okay. Jimmy, if you want to dump them. Okay, water sinks. Sinks in the water. Oil sinks. Sinks in the oil. Stays on top. 
really sort of floats it. on the corn, corn syrup, syrup. Alcohol. Sinks. and sinks in the alcohol. All right, we're removing the paper clips. Then what we're going to do after that are the marbles. We have four marbles, thanks to our Kerplunk game. It is just hard. Take some time to get all that out. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, James. Next up, the marbles. See what happened in the water. Sinks, Sinks. in the oil. Sinks, Sinks. in the corn syrup. syrup. Slowly sinks. Slowly sinks, but sinks. Alcohol. And in the alcohol, in the sinks. sinks. So the marbles sink in everything. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to do the washers. Oh, this is going to be like... It's a sticky. That's why they recommended that we uh, put down the paper towels. Yeah, I'm very glad this we is that. a messy experiment. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Next up, James, washers. Metal washers. Let's see what happens. Are they going to sink in the water? James thinks it will. Yes. And it sunk in the oil. It sunk. Syrup. In the syrup. Oh, oh no, slow. it's definitely sinking. It took a while, but it's Alcohol. sinking. Alcohol completely. So the washers sunk in everything. Do you think we just do the next one without taking it out? Take it out. And then we are going to do an ice cube in each one of them. I don't know what to expect with the ice cube. If you can't get the washer out, it's probably okay. All right, so let's go ahead and put an ice cube in each one. What happens in the... Take the spoon out, though. Let me get the spoon out. That's right. That's right. What happens when we put an ice cube in water? Everybody should know this. It floats. Wow. Let's see what happens in the oil. Yeah, oil. I don't know. I think it might float. Yes. And it floats. What about in the corn syrup? We have to get them out quick, so because we're going to use this for the next one. It floats in the corn syrup. What about the alcohol? Oh, it sort of sank in the alcohol. It sank in the rubbing alcohol. All right, so we're going to remove the ice cubes from these four beakers. We're going to get set up for part two. All right, my helper we'll and I are back. The first thing he's going to do is add a few drops of blue food coloring into the water. And stir. Perfect. That's perfect. And then go ahead and stir that up. All right. And then we're going to add red into the alcohol. Jim, would you stir up the alcohol solution? Okay. Now, slowly and carefully pour each of the liquids into the quart jar in this order. Okay. Okay, corn syrup. Corn syrup. First. All of it? Uh-huh. All of it. Try to just get it in the center, not on the edges. There you go. Corn syrup goes first. Let it all try to, you know, try to get out as much as you can. All right, perfect. Water will go next, and remember that the water is blue now. Try to get it just in the center. Perfect. Okay. Vegetable oil okay. will go next. Okay. This thing didn't look big enough. And lastly, okay. the red alcohol. What? Keep filling it up as much as you can. It's Perfect. That's, I mean, that's good enough. All right, it says to let it settle. Oh. So we're going to pause here. You can see it's starting oh, wow. to change really now. Ways, right? That's right. Oh, wow. It's pretty cool. We're going to pause it here. We'll come back in a, maybe like five or six minutes. You can see how once the 
um, liquids settled. They definitely um, made four different layers. We have this down here. Corn syrup. Then we have this here. Then we have this. And then we have the top red layer. Um, I underestimated the size of the container. So unfortunately we had to, we didn't, we weren't able to use all of the isopropyl alcohol, but you can still see we have four distinct layers. One, two, three, four. All right, so the last part of the lab, we are going to add one of each type of solid one at a time and record where the solid stays within the columns, the column of liquids. All right. So, Jimmy, if you want to start, we're going to go back and start with the cork. Cork, okay. Here's the cork. All right, see. put the cork. Three, two, one. Oh, one the cork totally is floating on the top. Next was the penny. penny. Where do you think the penny's going to go? It's going to go Yep, the penny is completely yeah, at is the bottom. The bottom. Okay, great. Nice. The next thing is the grape. Ooh, we have oh, a little bit of spillage. Oh, let's see where the grape is. It is in between the corn syrup and the blue stuff. Which water. was the, yes. Wow. So it is suspended in the blue layer. It's right here. There you go. What about the paper clip? Where is that going to go? Let's find out. Oh, oh it's oh, falling yeah, down. Yeah. It's, it's sinking, completely yeah. sinking to the bottom with the penny. All right, what about the marble? I think it's going to go to the bottom. All right. There you go. It went to straight the bottom. Down to the That's bottom. right. Straight down. Washer. What about the washer? Straight to oh, the bottom. Oh, straight to the bottom. And lastly, ice. what about the ice cube? Just go ahead and grab one and put it in. Double ice cube. It's all right. It's Some's going to spill, but that's okay. One ice cube. Okay. So that's on top. Okay, the ice cube is staying at the top. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this lab. It's pretty cool. Now we have to finish cleaning up all of this sticky mess. All right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Thanks, helper.